Welcome, everyone, to our exploration of the fascinating physics behind why kites stay in the air. Today, we'll uncover the intricate aerodynamics and forces at play that make these humble flyers dance effortlessly in the sky. Let's start by understanding the fundamental principle of lift, the force that allows kites to defy gravity and soar into the sky. As the wind flows over and under the kite surface, it creates differences in air pressure. This pressure difference generates lift, lifting the kite upwards and counteracting the force of gravity pulling it down. The shape of the kite plays a crucial role in generating lift. Most kites feature a flat surface angled upwards, known as an airfoil, which is optimized to create maximum lift as air flows over it. But lift alone isn't enough to keep the kite in the air. Tension in the string is essential for stabilizing the kite and controlling its flight path. By adjusting the angle of the kite and the length of the string, the kite flyer can control the kite's altitude and direction. It's a delicate dance between the aerodynamic forces acting on the kite and the tension in the string. Of course, we can't forget about the wind. The wind's speed and direction determine how much lift the kite generates and the angle at which it flies. When the wind blows against the kite, it creates varying air pressures on the top and bottom surfaces. This pressure difference, combined with the kite's shape, generates lift and keeps the kite airborne. In summary, the flight of a kite is a beautiful interplay of aerodynamics, tension, and wind forces. Next time you witness a kite soaring high in the sky, take a moment to appreciate the intricate physics that make it possible. Thank you for joining us on this mesmerizing journey into the skies. And as always, keep looking up and reaching for the stars. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your fellow kite enthusiasts.